Hey guys, Gameboy3800 here once again, and today, big old Dell. This is a Dell, you can't see it, this is a Dell Precision 690. I've upgraded it as much as I can without blowing the budget of a million dollars. And I'm going to see, do you need to upgrade? This has two quad-core Xeons. I'm going to put it up against um, a quad-core hyper-threaded Intel Core i7, and then a 6-core hyper-threaded Core i7 Extreme. And don't bother about the background noise, it's just the Alienware Mothership updating. So yeah. I have my phone up here as a stopwatch. And we're going to see how long it takes to power up. So starting in 3, 2, 1. This will include passwords and everything. Let me give you a better view. Kind of, maybe. There we go. Can't see the stopwatch at all though. Hmm. We're almost a minute in. I guess I have to go over the rest of the specs for all it's booting up. It's got 8 gigabytes of 677 megahertz um, DDR2 RAM, ECC. It's got dual 500 gigabyte hard drives in their RAID format because I'm probably going to be um, having only one of them in it when I sell it. And yeah. I also have a video file to um, test for video rendering to see if the eight physical cores really do make a big difference. And so far we're a minute 45 in. They're hard drives, they're no SSDs. And it had some SAS um, drive RAID, RAID units to load up. That boot up, so yeah, two minutes in. I put a rear exhaust fan on it by the memory cards to help out with cooling. Just cause. We're at the desktop, but it has some side extensions to to load up so you have to wait for that to finish until the timer's done we're at two and a half minutes you can't see that i do apologize i'll try to get a better angle better angle in the other room with the other alien were side extensions are loaded up but not quite the temperature gauge needs to turn on and then it will be done. And there we go. We're done at three minutes. So yep, this took three full minutes to boot. So now, I'm actually going to copy over a video file. I'm not going to time this. But I will time how long it takes to render. Just gonna copy it over. It's not a very large file, it's only three minutes long. It's just the uh, Alienware Mothership doing a, a full boot and 
um, adjusting the power settings and stuff, that's all. And it's already done pretty much. It's done. Alright, next up, the Silver Alienware for boot time. Alright, this here is the, the boot test of the Silver Area 51. Right here to the right. Beginning test in 3, 2, one, go. This computer has a lot older hard drives, it's got dual 250s. And a minute in, it's still, bo still booting up. This has the exact same side extensions as the other one, so it's going to be fair. Already at the desktop, only a minute and a half in. This Silver Illinois has a GTX 670 GPU in it and 8 gigabytes of DDR3 um, 1333 megahertz RAM, I believe. Either 1333 or 1600 megahertz, I forget. Two minutes in, can it load the side extensions up before the dull can? Yep, the temperature gauge is up, we're just waiting for the hard drives. And there we go, completely booted at two minutes and ten seconds, just about. So, as you can see, over a minute faster boot time for the Alienware. And it had more stuff to load up too, it has all these benchmarks and games in it, so yeah. So now begins the real test of one, putting the video to, to the desktop. And then doing a actual real world test of saving the video after rendering it. And it's just about done already. All right, now we're going to go back to the Dell and do a video um, render test. They both have the very basic um, Windows um, Live um, Movie Maker, so it'll be even, so that one doesn't have Adobe Premiere and the other has Windows Movie Maker for Windows ME or anything like that. So, be right back. Alright, so I got the video here. It's just a video of the Mothership powering up. Um, I'll speed this um, rendering up, it could take a while, so see you in 50 years.
And we're back at about six minutes in. And then we can play and see all the good stuff recommended, yeah, whatever. Yep. So now we're going to move on to the Silver Alien where I had that getting this video set up. So yeah. Okay, so we're here with the Silver Alien War. And start the timer in three, two, one. <laughs> Okay, and it seems like we're done. I was actually working on the other unit, so I don't know what time it was, but I'll post it here. There. Problem solved. But it was obviously quicker than the um, two um, Xeons. I'm not going to save that. So that about does it. DDR3 and i7 is faster, no matter which way you look at it. So, yep, yeah, I hope that answers your question. Can you use old stuff? The answer is yes, but it's old. It's slow. It wouldn't be in your best interest. And that's the facts. Thanks, Game Boy Out. See you next time.